Hello and welcome to the first match of the U.S. Invitational 2021 tournament. My name is Bob Lee, and on top, on tap today, on lanes 35 and 36, will be our featured lanes. We have Last Chance Auto, mainly out of Maine. Um, they're going to have some lineup changes. It's not going to necessarily match what they have up on the screen. They've, they've told me that the, uh, they'll be starting with Zach Skinner, Dave Gilbert, Kai Hunt, Aaron Bosford, and Scott Sorois. They come out of the uh, Augusta, Moncton, Skowhegan area all over in Maine. They're going to be going up against, against the New England flooring team. Um, they've got Kevin Daly slotted first, Brandon Marks, Ed Woodside, Dan, Dan Leggy, and Steve Reno. The, minute, the uh, captains are right now making some last minute changes while we do a few audio checks, make sure that we're online. Next ball will be live. It's going to come on the right from Kevin Daly. All right, Kevin, a former winner of the Easter Classic. Off on the uh, two pin, but he's got he's got the one eight nine remaining. Nine and Kevin will be open as will be first bowler from last chance. Yep, Zach. That's Zach. Zach Bowl. Yep. That is Zach Skinner. We have confirmed. He, last minute change. So up on your scoreboard you're gonna see Harold. Harold Brown, but he has been replaced. It's, that is Zach Skinner bowling now in lane 35. Early score is 98. We hope you can make out the uh, score cam we've, we've added this year. First ball in the second box. 17 teams arrived in, here at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. And they will be bowling league style all week with playoffs to fall. We'll get more into that later. Kevin Daly was right on his object, the one in three pocket, but can't clear the 10 pin. Zach is looking at three with his third ball. Nineteen for Kevin Daly and his two. We're gonna be bowling two at a time, as you can see. Zach sits down with a 15 and an early four pin lead. We'll be bowling two strings, plus the total Let's count for bowlers. A lot of background noise, a lot of excitement here. Eddie Woodside, the rock is in on the pocket. He gets a nine drop as the uh, left side falls late for him. Dave Gilbert now is bowling. He's got himself a check mark. That's a 10. Ready? On the scoreboard, which, uh, which was pre-programmed, shows Brandon and that is, of course, Ed Woodside. That'll allow you to see the scores anyway, so be, be sure to pay attention to that. Woodside's first ball in the second. A late fall in the two was the last to fall. He has the first mark here in the first match. Gilbert now, looking at seven. Still with a check mark on his third ball. And he'll take nine. You see the totals there. It's a six pin lead, but two balls coming up for Eddie Woodside. As 
Aaron Halvidel. Get some cheers over on lane 34. He had a spare on a strike. Pulling next in, you see Kai Hunt on the left. Dan Leggy has a spare. He had the four horses and the sleeper. Guy has a lot of work to do. He has seven still standing. Sleeper in the back. Good out. He takes a seven. Leggy now in the bonus. Eight drop for the bonus. Lead is now up to 21 pins plus two balls for New England flooring. Still in the first set, and that's two spares for Leggy. Kai Hunt still looking at three in the back row. And he'll take an eight. So 15 for Hunt, 48 overall for his squad through three bowlers. Obviously going two at a time here. 67 for New England Floyd. Welcome if you just joined us, I'm Bob Lee and you're looking at Steve Reno Jr. Throwing his first ball here at the U.S. Invitational Teams Championships with a Calerian Wood. Aaron Bosford has a, he has a, what we call a lambda, a triangle with a, with a line in front. He's on it, and he's got it. That's the first mark for last chance, Otto. And Stevie will take an eight. Last chance, Otto trailing by 17. Has a chance to take a bite off a few of those pins right here with, with Bassford's next ball. Reno is first in the second. And he's got it! Late falling action for both the seven and the five. So the lead temporarily is down 13 pins. It keeps you. You're gonna see on the team total, it keeps it through the moment. So the seven, the three pins still standing are on that total. But of course we have two strikes coming from Ed Wood's side in the number two slot and Steve Reno in the number four slot. So it's 85, 73 up to the moment. Four balls coming from New England flooring with the lead, 80 by 12. This is Dave. Hodge Mallorin now bowling in the anchor position. A lot of spin on that ball. Threw it, came off across the front. Nine drop for Scott Saroy. Oh, everything but the five remains. Sarais has a little bit of help, but he just takes the pin. Second mark of his side. And he picks up one right there. Scoreboard, like I'll remind you a few times throughout the day, is showing the original lineups, and the captains get to make changes right before the start, and they're allowed to make uh, lineup changes in the second box 
Substitutions are allowed through the sixth, the sixth box. A nine drop for Hodge to the four pin. Phil is good for five for Sirois. Hodge is open again. Frustrating. Four horses fall, but not the second ball. That, uh, that was a 10 for Dave Hodge. That four horsemen in a post or four horsemen in a, in a, in a sleeper usually cuts the chances of knocking, knocking the spare down by about half from 40 to 20 percent according to our database. So that was a 10 and a 25 for Scott Sirois, a 19 for Steve, for uh, Dave Hodge. We have a six pin lead but two bonus, two strikes coming up with, with uh, four bonus balls as we start the second half. Zach Skinner, left, Kevin Davis has a decent look at the one, two, and seven. Wood should help. It looks like the two is leaning over. He'll be open. Third ball is coming up there. Five on the plate right now. And Skinner will take the eight. One more picked up for New England flooring. We're just at the start of the second. Two frames, set of two frames. Seven drop to the one, three, and eight for Skinner. First ball. Davis, right side. He's got the same leave he had last time, plus the eight and ten. A little more wood. Right on the head pin, everything but the two goes. Davis, who's still open, is at 37, and Zach Skinner sits down. Now we got Dave Gilbert as the bowlers switch sides every two. He'll be starting his first ball in the third. Mark Ricci on lane 34 almost made the spread eagle while we were waiting. Eddie Woodside working on the strike. Here's Gilbert. Full on the head pin, he's three and two. First bonus ball. He's got two. And he'll be having a second ball as well. Uh-oh. All right. There's a break. Two on the, sp on the strike, Phil, for Woodside. That'll be a seven box for Gilbert. And Eddie recovers with a six. He's at 28 now through three. Even with the strike. Gilbert at 25 is off on the four pin. Two, three, four, seven. Still remain for Woodside. Both bowlers open for the set. Third ball in the fourth coming up next. 
Good 10. That's 35. A pair of 10s. 38 for Woodside. Total scores now 7. Woodside picked up one in that exchange. Kai Hunt is coming up against Dave Leggy. Leggy listed third on the right-hand side on your scoreboard. Scoreboard had two spares to start things. Or the, what you see on the right side is the starting lineup and the captains make changes for the game. Here comes Leggy on the, on the spare. Takes another six, so. Lead is now up to 12. Both bowlers with splits and both bowlers will be open. Here's Hunt, speed bowling his way through for a nine. Leggy with, will do well to get nine here himself. Takes eight. Leggy's our leading bowler at the moment with 42 through three. Started with a pair of spares. Another punch through the head pin. This time for Kai Hunt. Two, three, four, seven again. And a three and one split. Temperatures are low here. Oh, Hunt brought Played the wood to the right of the three and almost got it to work for him. He was just a little too deep for his two pin, but still standing. And it's still there. One sixty-two to one fifty-one. If you can see it up there on the totals. Up in the upper right hand corner of your screen. The, the names are wrong. Here's Bassford. Takes out the right side plus the five pin. Reno in the strike. A 3-10 with Wood. And he's still in the bonus. Lead is now up to 22 and adds one more to that one. 23. Reno, oh, there it is. Great out for a 10. And a pair of 10s in the third box for our fourth bowlers. Remember this is, welcome to the uh, US Invitational Tournament. Uh, substituting this year for the world as our Canadian friends are not, unable to arrive. We have 17 teams bowling here, league style. They're all on the lanes to my left. And you'll hear all of them at one point or another. Eight drop in the fourth box. Bosford and Reno's on the right side and gets three. Reno at 37 through three, seven over his box. There's a spare for Aaron Bosford. That's his second. He led off with a spare. And Reno makes good on the on the six and one. A lot of we had, we had uh, new work done on the, all, all of the. Uh, all the sideboards were replaced recently, and the and the lanes were refinished and and uh, repaired and replaced where necessary. So the lanes are pristine, the walls are pristine, the the, the pins are last year's pins. I think we are uh, looking at a reset for Dave uh, Dave Hodge. Head pin fell down as Scott Soroy's on lane 36. Open with the left side, four pins. Soroy's at uh, 25. He had a spare, a five fill, and a 10 to start things. These are the anchor bowlers. Both were open. Both with their second ball coming up now. There's a spare. 
Saroy's the second. Skohegan resident. Good job, good effort from Hodge. This will be his third ball. Twenty one twenty pin lead through the moment. Both Saroy's and sorry, both uh, Bosford and uh, Leggy are working on spares and the fourth bowlers up there. Remember the names are not accurate. There's a strike on spare for Saroy's. That cuts the lead down to ten. Paul Grant from Spread Eagle Productions has joined us on the right. So a big... Saroy is the anchor bowler for uh, Last Chance. He's working on a 55 and two balls when he comes back to start the fifth string. That one will be open. See, the lead is now down to eight pins. And with the outstanding balls, it's a, it's a virtual tie. You could say, if, if, imagine Saroy's is going to get about eight, maybe ten on his, on his fill. Both of the number four bowlers are working on spares. It's, a, it's basically an even match. Through the moment, 209 to 201. And there is a strike. The first for Kevin Davis. Zach Skinner has a five and one. Friendly wood though. ball for Skinner. Coming next. Grabs the one and it takes out the six and ten in the corner. Good out there. Lead is nine officially. Bonus is coming though. Now both teams are have a strike on the board and a spare. Five on the first bonus for Davis. First good spare opportunity for Skinner on lane 35. Oh, and the fill will be eight. The pin off the wall slid right between the four and seven. Give it a, give it a look. There's Skinner. Skinner will sit down after six with 52 and a ball. Daly takes a, takes a nine for a 64. Second bowlers now. Eddie Woodside on our right. Dave Gilbert on the left. Four horses remain for the Rock. And eight drop to the three six for, Gil for Gilbert. His name is correct on the board. Wide left. He's still open. Woodside, who's in slot two, where you see the flashing Brandon, where you see the flashing, sorry, Dave, so you see flashing Brandon. So the, the scoreboard stays on the same side throughout the match. Always on the right will be Price's wood flooring. 
Oh. Cherry pick on that. Eagle win. Gilbert will be open. The Rock is at 56 through six. Kevin Davis at 64 on your right on the scoreboard. Zach Skinner in the number one slot is at 52 and a ball. Dave Gilbert sits down with, six, with 53 through his six. And right now we see Dan Leggy in the three slot. He was open in the fourth. Steve Reno Jr. Is, is the one working on the spare. Oh, oh! Gets the wing, not the sleeper. Nine remains for Leggy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Leggy. Under Ed Woodside's name on your scoreboard. Whenever you see the screen go red and the bowlers, that reminds the bowlers to clear the lane. The sweepers don't have a, an addition to uh, clear out the gutters in the, behind, the, uh, behind the head pin. Pull on the head pin a little. Four and two remains. It's Kai Hunt. Sees our friend the two, three, four, seven again. Good bid from Leggy. Hunt is right in the face, right in the eyeball there. The ball was rejected. He will pay for it with a seven. Wood was resting right next to the three pin. 21 pin lead now, but we have balls coming up for Scott Saroy's in the anchor position, the number five bowler on your scoreboard. If you're looking up at, on the left-hand side behind Steve Reno's head right there, that is the, the fifth bowler. He's got a strike. That's a, that's a big one. He's... All the bowlers are, are beginning their fifth boxes here. And Reno had seven in his fill and he's open. But the lead now, it's 29 pins for the moment. They get 26. One of the nice features here at uh, Lita Lane is the total score will keep track of things through the ball. So your total score will adjust every time the bowler pops out three or four pins in the middle. And it's nine to the eight pin remains. Put it away, he does. He's at 73 in a ball already. 13 over plus a ball through six. Bosford is open. Anchor bowlers now coming up for their fifth and sixth boxes. Steve Saroy's on your left from Last Chance Auto. Bowling first, Dave Hodge. Scott Scott Saroy's. My apologies, Scott. 
All right. That is the lemon drop, our first of the tournament. In the bonus, he's got two. Remember, he threw a strike in the fourth. Thank, thank you, Paul. Uh, just looking at seven with his third ball. This is still in the bonus. A seven on the strike for Scott Sorois. And that will be a six box. Dave? Gives back two there, plus the seven in the bonus, but the total now is 304 to 286. 18 pins. Okay, we have an announcement that Wayne Springfield will be checking in. He'll be bowling for Dave Hodge in the anchor slot next, next time. Oh. So you may make, make substitutions up until the sixth. So that was the last chance for them to make that substitution. Springfield throws a 35 mile an hour right to left ball. Was off the head pin, but got great late action. He has a very makeable spare with three pieces of wood. The three pin is the front. And he comes in and he's a super sub. The spare in the fifth slot you see on the right. Oh, the diamond beats Sor Soroy's. Came in a little full, I guess. And he'll take nine. So 79 through six, he's 19 over. So Scott Soroy's is the Scohegan resident. Big spare in the, in the, for the substitute, Wayne Springfield. You heard Eddie Woodside announcing that back to our booth. And as I understand it, you are not allowed to make a substitution if your bowler makes a mark in the fifth because they have to finish that and they have to throw the ball first ball in the sixth. So you're always taking your chances. Anyhow, Zach Skinner drops seven on his first ball. And Kevin Davis finds a different way to get seven. Oh, lean. Hard lean, but no fall for that 10 pin, so still seven. He's got the three, four, and Skinner with the spare. Really hard to get that three across to the four. They sound like the six and seven. They're on opposite sides. That'll be a 10 for Davis, 74 through seven. He had that big strike in the fifth. That's his only mark. Two in a row for Skinner, who had the nine drop and he was working on that fill earlier. That's why the lead has come down to 12 pins. Eight. More come off of that and through the moment. The lead is now down to three, if you count it ball for ball. But remember, Steve Reno in this fourth slot for prices on the right, and Wayne Springfield, our substitute, both have spares. Zach Skinner also has a spare and the triangle denies Davis. He, he was thin on it. There are, is 12 inches between the pins. He brought it across almost on a right angle. His front pin was the two. Seventh and eighth box is now for our second bowlers. Where we're bowling two strings. Each team will bowl two complete strings, and the total will. Hey Alexis, is it two, two, and two? Two for the total, two for each game? Is that what they voted for? 
Thank you. That's our confirmation for our, one of our tournament directors, Alexis Bully. Tasty looking seven drop. Dave Gilbert. But the corner denies him. Woodside will be open. Paranines there. Through the moment, the score is 343 to 339. Price is wood flooring with the lead. There are two spares coming up for last chance, and one spare coming up. Two spares coming up for New England flooring, and one spare is coming up for last chance. So that three pin lead plus a ball is what we will say. Oh! Huge spare on the on the two and one. He had a right triangle. The Gilbert, while I was talking. The wood side is open, so the fate, the match is right down to the wire. Three pins is the total difference, but each team now has two spares apiece. So. Kai Hunt in on the pocket hard. He's got a chicken in. The last to fall is the four pin. By contrast, that was that was a one-two from Dan Leggy. He's a, a one-two pocket shot. It, nothing else fell. You don't see that more than once a year in this game if you that's watching all the time. My goodness, what a change of fortune there. Both, both bowlers in a pocket. You know, Leggy crossed over, but he has to take an eight. Kai Hunt with the strike on the right side. His ball was, was had the right kind of action. It's hard to say that it was. There was chance involved in that, but as you see, he hit the head pin again there and got four. Spread eagle. With another bonus ball coming up. Kai. Oh, that's four for the bonus. Four for the strike bonus. Through the moment, his squad has the lead. Six still on the plate. And he'll take six. Great 10 for Dan Leggy. A one pin lead. Each team with two spares. Big bonus ball coming up. On your left, Steve Reno Jr. We're in the big 20 jersey. Bosford is gonna be looking at the end. Is the triangle in the corner plus the five pin. So that's five. File that away. For the moment, his team is now up by five. Bonus balls will be coming up in the ninth box. For a last chance auto out of Maine, the team in light blue, now on lane 36. They're gonna finish on nine and 10, where they started. Third ball. Bosford with a 10, he's at 75 through seven. First ball in the eighth coming up now. Last chance Otto. Trailing by five with a ball. Six down to the check mark. That one is a 40 percenter. Oh, nine drop to the five. Steve Reno. Seventeen over his box. Bosford is denied. It's the wing. And the spare is good for Reno. The lead 
now is six pins for Price's Wood Flooring. Both teams have two, two players in the bonus with spares, and one of them's coming up right, right here. Wayne Springfield, our, our substitute, stepped in for Dave Hodge. And threw a spare in the sixth. Scott Sroys grabs three. Seven and eight. And a very makeable spare, a 60 percenter for Wayne Springfield, looking at the pit, at the two in the corner. Soros will be open, but not Springfield. He came in in the six, he's got two spares in a row. Lead is now 16, and that is a, that is a foul in the channel. So that'll be an eight box. For, sorry, for uh, Scott Soroyce. Under the Zach Skinner name on your, on your screen. As long as that red line is still going, we're live. Huge nine drop. Nine drops for both, but Springfield in the bonus. The lead is now up to 24 pins. Big spare for Soroyce. He's going to sit down now. And three in a row. Wayne Springfield, the super sub. He's had boxes of 19, 18, 19, and a spare and a ball. He's, he's averaging basically 185 at the moment. Kevin Davis now, we're, we're in the final frames. Good ball, but this is a bonus ball for Skinner, seven. Lead down to 17 at the moment. Two bonus balls still coming for last chance auto and two Price prices wood flooring. So that 17 pin is a good read, but that spare. Three in a row for Zach Skinner on lane 35. Final frame for the leadoff bowlers here. Davis right in the pocket, and the end. That is the four, five, seven, and eight. Reasonable fill. Scott Skinner pointing to the right side. Looked like he might have been holding out two fingers like he thought he was gonna get the uh, half Worcester, but did better than that. He's got the one, seven, eight, nine. Oh, great. Exactly what Davis was looking for. He was, trying to, he was trying to pinch the four over to the right, and he got it over to clear the five pin, but not the, uh, not the eight pin. Didn't get the reaction there. So that's a 101, Kevin Davis. And that'll be a 119. Zach Skinner with a four marks in a row in, like, in six, seven, eight, and nine. Gives his team a chance. It is a nine pin lead. Dave Gilbert on the left is in the bonus. Rock is open. That's Eddie Woodside. And you no, know, he's not. The eight was the last to fall. For Woodside. One of my favorite, favorite bowlers to watch in the old, uh, the old shows in the camp. 
Can you go shut my trunk? <laughs> it's the Subaru right outside. <laughs> Seven in the bonus. At the moment, the difference is three, two pins. 458 to 456. However, Ed Woodside has a strike. And he has, there are two more bonus balls coming up. Only one bonus ball coming up for the Last chance auto out of Maine. Okay. A lot of work was done, done from the back. Gilbert's had, a, had a, uh, a two in front of the three. That is three more in the bonus though. Even though we didn't execute this, the very difficult spare, the two and two. A huge three pin gain for Woodside. And he'll take he'll take a nine, but it means he got a 102. And his more importantly, his team now leads by 11 with a ball. So get that lead out over 10 pins. And you could force the other team to make an additional mark. Leggy. Both with two and twos. Leggy's is, he's got a baby split, and he drove the two pin back and got action against the sidewall, but I, I think he got us just jump back. It, it, it didn't go forward. The seven pin never moved. All right, tough. Both bowlers open. And Ed brings the lead down to 10. The bonus ball is coming up. You see on your scoreboard on the right when, when it's available. That's number four, five. Oh, strike in the 10th for Leggy. In the third slot there on your scoreboard. And uh, half Worcester. That's a big swing on that ball. All right, the lead is still 10, but there are now four balls coming in the bonus for New England flooring and just one for last chance auto. And the lead is 10 pins for New England flooring. My way of saying it's gonna be really difficult in game one. We have a second game coming up. And a double in the 10th. Last of fall was the two pin. For a moment, it looked like he was going to have the two and eight. And then spinning pins between them mean he's going to get a 12th rack. Dan Leggy looking for a 30 box here. And make it 27. So he went for with a 122 finish, an enormous, which that puts it all but out of reach for Price's Wood Flooring in the first. Total still in, uh, everything's still in play. Down to our final four boxes. Steve Reno Jr. in the bonus. Four for Steve. Oh, 
Bossford has a three and one. You can't, probably can't see that there's uh, the five pin is behind the head pin. And he still has four. Oh! Lead is 27 pins with three to play. Keep track of that difference as we go into the final. That's worth another two points on the standings. It's two because, of course, if it's tied, each team will take one. Final ball now for our fourth bowlers. Great spare for Reno. For 10. It's a spare. It's a spare. It's a spare. Sorry. Wasn't the final ball. Final attempt. That was the final ball. Bosford with a 104. Reno at 117, and this is his last ball. Another 10. How about that? Three strikes in the 10th for the Price's Wood flooring. Two for Dan Leggy, and that one from Steve Reno. And a match that was down to three pins in the late going is up to 37 at the moment. That was a 127 finish for Reno. Two in the fill for Springfield. Where he came he came on in the sixth. He put up spare eight, spare nine, and that's a spare two, and he will finally be open in the ninth. Source dropped eight in his spare. And he will be open. Very difficult. All right. A six for Springfield. He and Dave Hodge Mallorin are at 98. A 115 for Scott Soroy's. How about four out of five for Wayne? Just right. So three out of these five boxes are spares. Final ball, the first. And Springfield's gonna take a joint 107. He picks up another pin there. 559 to 530. So take a look up there. And I'm gonna join by Paul Grant from uh, one of our, our announcers from the Spread Eagle Productions. I'm going to hand him my microphone. Now I'm going to do a little. Are you ready, ready, Paul? Paul is the same now for next string. How do we know? That's why I'm going. Again, give me the mic to go, okay. so I can go find out. Oh, Paul. Paul, you're live. Okay, welcome everybody. U.S. Invitational Worlds. Coming from Leader Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Second string. First thing won by New England flooring, 5.59 to 5.30, a 29-pin lead. And let's see if we can update the scoreboard for the correct bowl is to start.
So I have confirmed there there, there be no lineup changes other than Wayne is going to stay in in the anchor slot okay. for Dave Hodge Mallory. All right, so that's Kevin Davis. Yep. I'm sorry. No, that is. Uh, it is Kevin Davis on our left, and it's Zach Skinner on the right. Okay. So Zach Skinner bowling for. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll take you. Want, you want to step in in a, in a minute? Sure. Sure. Big spare to start things off for Skinner. And Davis will be open. Paper. They're on paper up there. We have, we'll, we'll get you the scores from game one so we can refer to them during during game two. Okay? Write the, write the scores from game one for the players. Skinner's fill is gonna, it's gonna be three. A 13 box to start the game. Fred Eagle plus the eight pin. We call that a talon. Skinner is open. Oh, look at this one. Davis got the zipper to come back the other way, but uh, stopped short. Both bowlers. With an eight, Skinner started with a, with a spare and a three. So there's an early three pin lead for last chance auto. Bowling on our right. Is that, is that Fry? Yeah. yeah. DJ Fry. DJ Fry. There's a substitution for last chance auto. DJ Fry. Comes off the bench. And that's his second ball in on the head pin on the second. That's good recovery. Spare attempt from Woodside is just right. DJ comes in for Dave Gilbert. Substitutions are allowed at any point up and until the beginning of the sixth frame. The exception being if you make a mark in the fifth. So Fry, his second delivery, kind of cocks his body a little to the left. He's facing the right side. Good bid on the one, two, five, and ten. But the uh, four and seven stay up for Eddie. And both bowlers take a nine, so. Fry picks up two more, two, two pins there. It's a five pin lead in the early going. One mark on the board. First ball in the second string for Aaron Bosford on lane 36. Misses right, but gets an eagle wing. Leggy's got the one and two. Both bowlers off the object, both bowlers with very makeable spares. Bosford is open, however. And there's a break for New England flooring. That was, that was a 10 for Bosford. Bosford, you see in the number three slot under the name Kai Hunt.
on the left side of your screen where you see the scoreboard down there. Leggy in the bonus. Picks up six. Lead change, we now have a New, Eng New England flooring who had a 29 pin lead in the first game. Leads in the match by 29 plus. Plus one, now you can see Bosford is taking the lead back as they keep tracks ball by ball. And it's now 59 to 57 in the second string. So the last chance auto has to make up 29 pins to get that total, but they have an early two pin lead through the first six boxes. Each team, of course, is gonna bowl 100. 50 piece. Nine drop for Pelkey. And a spare for Pelkey. Tom Pelkey is substituting in the four position as Steve Reno Jr. will be open. the head pin, but the head pin falls. Eight in the bonus for Pelkey and a beautiful looking spare opportunity for Reno. He takes it. So two in a row, both bowlers. Mark in the second. Early going, it's 87, 75 for last chance out of the light blue team out of Maine. New England, New England flooring centered here in Boston. Out of Central Park Lanes and, eh, well, in New, in New Hampshire. We, got, we have players from all around. Scott Soroy's the anchor is back. Wayne Springfield staying in for New England. Springfield's got the five and nine, a very about a 60% spare opportunity. Depending on your sample, it ranges from 57 to 60%. You saw there, that one did not go. So Royce takes a nine, picks up one more. 13 pin lead in the early going. Anchor bowlers now set to throw their first ball in the second box. We're in the second string. If you just join us, welcome. I'm Bob Lee. This is the first match of many. 17 teams are here. They're each going to play, play each other 16 games in the next week, followed by playoffs. We'll get you more about that later. <laughs> Scott Soroy is looking at a four and two with his second ball. He had 18. Wayne Springfield took 15. Lead is now 15 after the first fifth. Okay, are you ready? Paul, you ready to take 
take the mic? Sure. Spin out. Grab. First ball from Kevin Davis is right in the pocket. The five was the last call on his strike. Paul, this is uh, Zach Skinner. Good morning, everybody. Paul Grant here with Bob Lee. Lee Lanes, National New Hampshire, U.S. Invitational Worlds. 35 and 36 alleys, second string, two string match between Last Chance Auto and New England Flooring. New England Flooring won the first string, 559 to 530. 29 pin lead coming in. And right now they're up 15 pins right now in the second string as well. Oh, they're down, they're down had, working on the strike here now, Paul. Yep. Last chance, Otto has the 15 pin lead this string, actually. Set, leads down to nine. Davis, Davis still in the bonus. Tough split here, can you pick it up? Oh, what a try! Left the seven pin. Superlative shot, not quite. Nice try from 35, Zach. 10 for Davis, he's at 47 through four. Zach's gonna... Okay, Zach's gonna end up with a nine, had a tough break there. He's at 19, um, 40 out to four, even through four. Davis's strike really closed up, closed the difference. Now, now down to five. First ball in the third box for Ed Woodside. At least four horses left, and a beautiful shot by DJ Fry. Edward tied for the spare, just missed it. DJ for a spare. Got He's got it. 15 inches of target when you leave the, when you leave the wood down in front of it like that. Nine blocks for Edward Tide. 26 after three. DJ working on, on the spare. Wood side is open. Got 29 in the ball. Off to the left side. Gets a good break. Six. Good first ball. Chance for a spare also. Seven good. in the fill, though. Big fill gives him 36 after three. For the spare. Not quite. Can DJ pick it up? No. 14 pin lead this string right now. And there's nine box for Edward Tide. He gets a 35 after four. We're at 137 right now for the string after four. It's early in the fourth frame. DJ Fry with a 46 half after four. So right now it is a 14 pin lead this string for last chance auto over New England flooring. But we're down 29 coming in. So that cuts the match down to 15 pins. And Leggy. For New England flooring. And Aaron Bastard. Can he pick it up? He tries to ride it over, not quite. Four pin wouldn't go. Good try. Aaron for a spare. And that's a 10 for Dan Leggy. Aaron gets a 10 also. 32 for 
for Dan Leggy. 29 for Aaron Bassford. Fourth box, second string, two string match. Split of five. On the head pin, going for the strike. It's nine. 10 pin up in the corner right for Aaron Bassford. Dan Leggy, so he can pull it off. Gives it a ride. Seven pin won't go. For the spare, gets the wood to go over. Aaron Bassford with the mark. 39 in the ball after four. And a 10 for Dan Leggy. 42 after four. So right now, 171 to 157 for Last Chance Auto. They've taken 14 points off the total. They were down 29. Now they're down 15 for the match. Now it's Tom Helke on the left, Stephen Reno on the right. Yep. Tom Pelkey on, on the left. Pelkey gets only three there. Steve Reno trying to pull this over for a spare. Can he pick it up? He does! Got the shot off the wall. Nice spare for New England flooring. He's been 36 in the ball after three. Trying to keep that 29 pin lead for the match going. It's down to 15 when they went up there. And a tough seven for Tom Pelkey. Six in the string. Team with the ball. One of them is, is uh, in Steve Reno's hand right now. Oh, a strike! No doubt about that one. Strike on spare. That's how you do it. And punches there, Steve Reno. Fast action. Fifty-six and two bonus balls after four. You my Tom Pelkey. Great opportunity for a spare. Has the ten pin. Goes right at it and gets it. Who needs the wood? So a strike for Reno, spare for Pelkey. And it's six pins still in the string, which, but it's 23 for the match right now. In favor of New England flooring. Anchor bowlers, Scott Stroyce on the left, Wayne Springfield on the right. Super matches today. U.S. Invitational, the Worlds they call it. A tough 15 to start. He has seven here to clear that wood. He must got somewhere with a spare leave here. He had 18 for his first two. I'm gonna clear the wood there. Great enthusiasm here at Leader Lanes in Ashton, New Hampshire. Bob Lee to my left, I'm Paul Grant. Thank you for joining us today. Kenneth and bowling at his finest hour for the uh, U.S. Invitational. Week-long match. A lot of excitement here. Oh, just missed a spare. Didn't get the kick off the wall. And Wayne Springfield has to settle for an eight in that one. And Scott with a 10. Scott with 28 after three. And Steve Reno with 20, just 24 after three. Both thought to a slow start this string, but they're capable of exploding in a heartbeat. Match score is sitting at, at 204 to 201 right now. The, game, the second game for the second string. And there's a strike. I told you, it can happen in a heartbeat. That's a strike. Two balls, two balls for price. We're flooring and a 
pair of spares for uh, Last Chance Auto, but now we have four balls. And just like that, Bryce's is back in the lead. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Bob. Have to clear that wood again. 214 for the first four boxes. Plus a strike and a spare they're on for New England flooring. They had a 29 pin lead coming into this second and final string of the match. Only two string matches this year. Scott's at 28 after three, he's in his fourth box. They pick it up. Can't get the roll, but will it? No. Give it a wiggle. To settle for a 10, hopefully, here. And he gets the 10. 38 after, after four. 38 after four for Scott Sirois. Kevin Davis coming up on the right for New England flooring. The second string. Fifth and sixth boxes. Right now it's 211 for last chance auto 214 for New England flooring. So right now it's a 32 pin lead in the match. And both sides are working on two marks. Two spares for last chance auto, a strike and a spare for New England flooring. And there's a spin strike, uh, strike bait won't go. That's for Zach Skinner, he's bowling on the right this time. Kevin Davis on the left for New England flooring as they switch sides. Kevin yeah, with the 1 7 10 plus the 8. And he missed a spare, went in the gutter to set up for a 9 box. Tough break. And now he's got the high low jackpot, 1 7 10. Any bonus money for the uh, 1 7 10 here in the Worlds? on the balls, but we have uh, <laughs> a lot of balls for you. That'll require a show on its own. Yeah, so. I know. He gets an eight box out of that. So he actually lost a pin in that box. So Kevin Davis had 55 after five. And Zach Skinner had 49 after five. It's a two pin lead right now for New England flooring in the string. 31 in the match. Third and fourth boxes here. First bowlers. Zach's getting a difficult split. He used that wood to pull it over. Meanwhile, on left side, Kevin Davis, a nine drop. Ten pin standing. Let's see if Zach can pull this off. He's going for the pins in the right. Slides it over. Not quite. Heck of a try. And Kevin Davis, who needs the wood, right on that 10 pin for a spare. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll give him 65 in a ball. After six. And a 10 box for Zach Skinner. We're still a two pin lead right now for New England flooring in the string and 31 in the match, if my math is correct. Edward Tybe, half Worcester in his first shot on the left. TJ Fry in the right. Got a bunch of wood to help him here. He had a 35 in the fifth and sixth boxes, actually. DJ with a nine, and nine also for Edward Tide. 241, 239, two pin lead, New England flooring in the string. Still 31 in the match. Fifth and sixth boxes. Second string of a two string match. Lita Lanes, Nashville, New Hampshire. US Invitational, all of the worlds. No Canada this year due to COVID. A lot of excitement, many matches going on today at the same time. D 
DJ punches out. Edward goes to the left there. Both of you need a lot of work here for spares. DJ, can he, so he can make out of this one. Punches out. He has a 1 7 10. One for 10 bucks. On the head pin, leaves one. And we're tied. Denied the spare, good effort. DJ for a 10, he gets eight. Sixty-three after six for DJ. And a nine for Edward Tide, fifty-three after six. So it's two fifty to two forty-seven. New England flooring a three-pin lead. Thirty-two in the match now over last chance auto. Second and final string of this match. Aaron Basford on the right. For last chance auto, Dan Leggy on the left for New England flooring. Both off the head pin. A little bit of action for Dan. Aaron punches left, has four standing. See if Dan can pull this off. Missed the head pin. Aaron for a big out. Gets two of the four, settles for eight blocks. And only a seven for Dan Leggy. 49 for Dan Leggy. 50 for Aaron Basford. One pin lead in the straight. Can't see that scoreboard actually. Can you see that scoreboard, Bob? Yep. Lead is one. It is one. 264 to 262 right now. Okay. Last chance auto with the lead. So that makes it 28 in the match coming in. Big bonus balls coming up though. For New England. Let's try for the spare, not quite. Two strikes for New England and two spares on the Bills coming up in the, in the next bowler. Nine for Aaron Basford. A couple of tough boxes for him. 267 apiece. We are a tied nominal. Dan Leggy had a 10 there, yeah. Dead even in the string. That means it's 29 pin lead for New England flooring over last chance auto. A couple of extra balls though coming. Starting right here for uh, Steve Reno. We had strikes in the uh, in the fourth. Both, both Reno and uh, Tom Pelkey. No, but Reno and uh, Wayne Springfield for New England have, have strikes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, Pelkey was a tough half Worcester there for Steve. Pelkey was in the bonus though on the spare. He got seven on the spare. And this is a chance for another spare. Steve Reno at the half Worcester. Can he pick it up? Give it a good ride. Swept it over. Left two. That was all in the bonus though. Eight in the fill and a nine box. 10 for Tom Pelkey. We're still tied, that means. Yep. 284 apiece. The last chance auto needs to get a move on it. They're down 29. They'll have to put in high gear the last four plus boxes. You want to salvage at least two, though, from the second game. The way the match works, ball is that uh, each team is going to. Oh, oh strike! A strike for the Pelkey. Pelkey. Trying to make it academic. The match works at each team, each each game is worth two points, and the total is also worth worth two. Okay. So a, a total of six, six points will be awarded. Different set of rules in this tournament. Yep. It's, a, it's like league night. Yep. Uh, so, so it's like league night. Sure. Try for the spare, didn't go. Of course, a tie will go one apiece for two teams. Yep. Pelkey working on a strike. Steve Reno going for a 10 here. Missed it wide right. Two pin leads up to the minute for 
Last Chance Auto. Last Chance Auto, yep. The, the team in light blue now on lane 36. Steve Reno has an 81 after six. Tom Pilkey, 75 and a ball coming up. Now here's the anchor, Scott Sorois for Last Chance Auto. Springfield on the left. Can he pick it up? Missed it. Scott for ten gets nine. Sixty-five after five for Scott. Wayne Springfield with the nines at fifty-one after five. Get the total. I can't see the total there clearly. It's a three hundred nine to three hundred three lead right now. All right, so that's for New England flooring. So that means a thirty-five pin lead for the match currently. Scott Roy thin there. Off the head, both off the head pin there. No lead is safe in this match. Oh, a nice shot! Well, I'd say a 31 pin lead in the test would be safe. It's a spare for uh, Scott Rice. Heck of a shot. Had a bunch four and two, picked it up with a spare. Clutch one. He needed that one. 75 and a ball after six. Wayne with a 10 at 61 after six. So critically, Paul, we, st we still have uh, a spare field coming up right, right here for Kevin Davis. He had a spare in the sixth. There was a, and we have a strike and a spare coming at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, order. Hey, so eight in the, eight off the, Eight added to the lead in that case for New England floor. Three balls to come for last chance auto, Paul. Yep. Back to you. Okay, thank you. Scoreboard's a little further away than it used to. Good try for a spare, just missed it. Had a big eight fill on the spare though. Zach Skinner, one for a 10 here. 10 for Kevin Davis. He's at 83 up to seven. And a 10 also for Zach Skinner. It's 69 after seven. 14 pin lead, Paul. 14 pin lead for New England flooring. That makes it 43 for the match currently. With three balls coming up. Oh, another strike! Kevin Davis! Good bid there by Zach Skinner, nine drop. Kevin Davis, explosive shot, 93 and a ball after eight. The leadoff man for New England flooring here in the second string. They won the first by 29. And a spare right on for Zach Skinner. Right, both 79 in the marks yep. as they sit down after eight. Zach Skinner, 79 in the ball after eight. Second bowl is now Edward Ty for New England flooring on the right, DJ Fry on the left for last chance auto. So 24 pin lead now. It's, uh, it's closer to 14. Yep. <laughs> it changes by, by the changes by the second on the, on the scoreboard. Okay. DJ with the, oh, uh, oh nice spare. This is Dennis Rizzo in the substitute. Oh, they got a sub, I didn't know about that Dennis one. Dennis Rizzo is now in for New England flooring. Place on Edward's side. Dennis Rizzo.
And he comes in, comes in and delivers a spear right off the bench. That's what's happening here. These guys are... Do you find it difficult, Bob, coming off the bench to be fresh, be warm, like you lose? Do you feel you get tight sometimes? Do you feel loose coming off the bench? Well, we've seen three substitutes. Two of them have come in right, right off the bat and thrown marks. But one of them, you know, one of the players came in and threw a, uh, a one pin. That's amazing. It goes both ways, obviously. Yeah. Only a seven yeah, bucks. Seven bucks for DJ Fry. He's at 70 after seven. Dennis Rizzo, now the second half bowler for Edward Tide for New England flooring. Came in on his first ball. First box got a spare. And on the fill, he gets seven and a great piece of wood for a spare leave. 70 after seven for the two of them combined. DJ has some wood to help him. And there's another spare. Two in a row for Dennis Rizzo. Off the bench. 374 to 345. They're pulling away, pulling away. Still plenty of time. All these balls are capable of triple strikes. So the, com the combination of Edward Tide and Dennis Rizzo are at 80 in a ball after eight. 24 pin lead. And we are on, now looking at the first ball to Dan Leggy. First ball in the seventh. He was open. Aaron Bosford on lane 35. Ball back to you. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Dan on the hit. Pin! Leaves the five and ten. That wood could help. We can nudge that pin to the right. Aaron off to the right, but gets a backdoor lead. Gets nine. Rather be lucky than good. It all counts. Aaron Bassford now with a beautiful spare opportunity. Dan missed the spare. Not an easy shot. That was not easy at all. And he gets the roll. Hit the wood. Got the spin around spare to Aaron Bassford. Ten for Dan Leggy. Dan Leggy's at 69 after seven. Aaron Bassford. 69 in the ball after seven. 24 pin 20, lead. 24 pin lead for New England flooring. That's 53 overall for the total. On the head pin, solid eight. Aaron Bassman on a spare. Missed the head pin, but again gets some back to action. This time he gets six. This shot will not be as easy, obviously. 75 after seven. That's spare. Split the uprights. Dan Leggy. 79 in the ball after eight. No spare that, no spare that time for Aaron Basford. Was not easy. For a 10, he gets it. 85 after eight for Aaron Basford for last chance auto. Is that 394 to 376 we got? That's what we have. 18, 18 pin lead. Pins. 18 pin lead for New England flooring. It's 47 in the match. But we have, critically, we have uh, marks coming up. Steven next, Reno. That's three bowlers in a row for last chance Otto on marks. Including this one. Belkey working on the strike. Has six on his first ball. For a spare, he gets oh it. Steven Reno, nice shot. That was not easy with the wood, but it went for him though. 91 on the ball after seven. No spare that time for Pelkey, but he gets eight on the strike. 83 after. Let's check the score in a second. He gets nine. Now, yep, 92 now after seven. For Tom Pelkey. Steven Reno with a 10, he's at 81. Is that a spare? I missed that one. Did he get a spare there? Yeah, Reno's on a spare. He got the spare. And he's got the Kamrowski special, the Rick Kamrowski special, I call it, from the semi pro league. He always gets that shot. Makes it most of the time. Full horseman. 
Let's post the ball for Pelkey. 14 pin difference. Yep. Six pin Up fill. Six pin fill with Steven Reno. For another spare, he gets the Kamrowski special. Four horsemen for another spare. 107 in the ball after eight for Steven Reno. Pelkey does not get the spare. Tough break. Gets the 10 for 102 after eight. Now it's a 19 pin lead in a string for New England flooring. 48 for the match, correct? 17. 17. Up to the, up to the reset. 17, okay, 17 in the string, so that's 46 for the match for New England flooring. Wayne Springfield, the anchor in the seventh and eighth frame. Box. Scott Saroy on the left, gets eight, see if the wood can help him here. Both angles. See if Wayne can get 10 out of this. Last chance auto, really needs some marks. Scott, one of his best fats domino pool shot here to pull this off. I've never seen a shot like that, Bob, with two pieces of wood like that, same angle. Can he get it? He does! Hit the pin to the left, capped it over, and gets this critical spare for last chance auto. Lead is down to eight. Two points at stake for the string. Wayne Springfield gets a nine on the right. 70 up to seven. Scott Saroy, 75 and a ball up to seven. Huge spare. But on that, on that comment though, with the lead at eight, we have bonus balls coming up. For for New England flooring from uh, Kevin Davis, from, the, from yep. the first four bowlers. Right. So, you know, as you go through it, Kevin Davis, Dennis Rizzo in his substitute position, Dan Leggy. All at marks. And Steve Reno, you know, all are on marks. Only the number one bowler, Zach Skinner, for uh, last chance auto. Back to you, Paul. Thank you. That's a huge advantage for New England flooring. The lead, though, is five at the moment. Six fill for Scott's Rice. I think that's spectacular spare shot. 102, a correction, 81, 81 up to seven. I'm looking at the other bowler, 81 up to seven to Scott. Another difficult shot. How do you play this one, Bob? Do you kick the wood over? Try to kick it over from the right? He's trying to do that. Can he get it? No. That's the best chance to get it over. Wayne gets a nine. Wayne Springfield, nine. Not 79 after eight. So the lead is three, but there, there are oh. five bonus balls coming up for New England flooring. And only one. The last he chance auto. Ninth here. Last, last chance two auto. boxes for last chance auto. They got the they, they, quite a bit. They, they, they are, so they, with five, you got to figure with those four fills, they're going to they're gonna get six, seven, pins per, per fill. So they're going to need a lot of work. The last chance on needs a lot of work here. They really need, they really need a, a, a few marks yep. to, to, to catch up. A double strike would definitely help. The lead is though two at the moment. We're going to change our graphic accordingly. All right. What's wrong with the score up there? They didn't fix it? Are they aware of the total the change? Yeah, we, 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 we are. Okay. All right. So there's been a score. There's been a scoring adjustment. One pin off of the off the tally on the on the scoring machine. It is 447. To 438. So one pin off. All right. So the scoreboard shows two up on New England flooring. It's actually one. They have not corrected a score from a 10 box. It was actually a nine in the first box. So they'll that get that corrected be, afterwards. Maybe academic though. If they can. Coming. Got an eight on this. Jeez. All right, Bob. Sorry, I got distracted there with the uh, score correction here. Ten for Kevin Davis. Eighty-six after nine. Davis is at one at one eleven. Kevin, they're on it. One eleven. Sorry. And eighty-six is the score of uh, Zach, Zach Skinner. Skinner. Okay. But the match score is at. 
4.55 to 4.43. That's a 12-pin difference. In favor of New England flooring. And it's going to keep growing like that. Sack needs this mark. They really need this mark badly. All set up for him. Goes right at it. And I will go. It oh, does go. A delay of game when it goes through. He missed his object. It was going to fail be a five yard penalty delay of game, but a constant Candleton. Spare, big one for Zach Skinner. Last chance Otto needed that one. 96 in the ball on the 10th foot. Kevin Davis for the nine. He has a 120 string, excellent string for Kevin Davis. 120. DJ Fry. Coming up next, along with Dennis Rizzo. And on the fill, he gets four, three, actually five. Five on the spare fill for Zach Skinner. Ends up with a 101. So right now, it's 465 to 458 in favor of New England flooring. That's 36 for the total right now. Remember that? Uh, that minus one, minus one, so 35 actually. It's a six pin lead. A lot of spares coming up here and strikes in favor of New England flooring right now. DJ Fry. And Dennis Rizzo, who had two spares off the bench, gets seven fill on the first ball. England flowing in control of the string of the match. Dennis for a spare. Eight fill, so 80. Yep. Nine for DJ Fry, eight for Dennis Rizzo. All the bonus balls are on New England flooring side now. So the next, the next two bowlers have, have the spares in the eighth. Bring it, yep. So that, there's a 13 pin difference. And there's another Kamrowski special full horseman for DJ Fry. Nine drop, Dennis Rizzo. He's looking for three out of four marks off the bench. And he gets the full horseman for a spare. DJ Fry needed that one. It's an 11 pin difference right now through the box, but the bonus coming up. 99 in the ball. And a 10 for Dennis Rizzo. That total score right now, the match total score is 489 for New England flooring, 477 for last chance auto. Fry in the bonus. On the hit, pain for a strike, he gets nine. Ends up with a 108 for the string. Good finish for DJ Fry of, of last chance auto. So 498 to 486 I believe. Yes, and remember you have to always make that adjustment. One, minus pin one pin. Missing. So it's, it's 497 to 487. It's 11 pin difference right now. In favor of New England flooring. Bonus ball coming up for Leggy on the left on the left. Aaron Bassford on the right for last chance auto. And then don't forget Steve Reno is in the bonus as well. So there's two bonus balls in favor of New England flooring with their 11 pin lead. Big eight drop there. Aaron Bassford. They need this mark. Oh. On a spare. Back door. Oh my goodness. He gets nine. 
Any, nine drop any, off the two. Anywhere they can fall. Aaron with a spare on the right for last chance auto. Needed that one to stay in the game. Anywhere they fall, Bob, right? It all counts. Doing a study of mixed head pins. And there are, it looks to me like about, about one in five generates a makeable spare. <laughs> oh, tough break on the spare bid. Still too early to say for sure. I'm, I'm going to wait for the. I'm up to 300 missed head pins I've been <laughs> tracking with my uh, database. 10 but bucks. Compare that to 45% or so when you when you hit the head pin. And don't forget, you get 10% strikes. So the head pin is obviously a bit of a 21 20 pin lead right now in the match. The string from New England Flooring, 49 in the match. Barry Bassford, 9 drop. More backdoor work for Dan Leggy. This time he's got a piece of wood to help him. Not easy. See if he can get it. Aaron for last chance auto. Needs the spare. Gets it. Big shot to stand the game. Oh my goodness. What a spare shot. Wow. Not easy with that. that wood I was wood. just about to say the total was coming together there, but we're back, we're back to 12 now. Still have, we still, both, both bowlers get an 11th rack here with spares in the tent. Asford, only two oh, as he hooked it to that's left. A that's, a two. that's frustrating as a bowler when you do that. Oh, strike on spare! Yeah. Pin leggy, exclamation point. That was point. an eight pin swing ball. I'm, an enormous, enormous Another ball. thunderous finish. And Leggy, 118 for the string. And Aaron Bastro, the respectable 116 himself. Good string for both bowlers. 20 lead in a ball. Make that 19 with the, with the with penalty. 19 pin lead for New England flooring in the string. 48 in the match. And Reno, Reno is working on a spare from the eighth. Reno on your left, Tom Pelkey on the right. Like we have sweeper frozen here. We're coming to you live from Lita Lanes in Asheville, New Hampshire, U.S. Invitational. Bob Lee and Paul Grant with you. Bob, uh, the stat, the stat fanatic, walking encyclopedia. Four boxes to play. Twenty pin difference. Plus this bonus ball right here. Pelkey hooks it to the left. It's three. Oh, okay. It's spread eagle. Four fill. Oh, but the spare, not quite. Oh, can it go? No. Good bid by Tom Pelkey. Not go. Not going that time. I'll need it. Right down to last three now. Need a lot of help here. Last chance auto. Sweeps it for a 10 and a 9 for Steven Reno. Steven Reno is at 112. I'm sorry, Steven Reno is at 120 at the 9. 112 for Tom Pelkey. 22 pin lead in the string. No marks are open right now. New England flowing in, in control of the string and the match. You feel the excitement in the air, Bob, huh? Yeah, I, I think uh, last chance Sato just realized that they uh, down down 20 with, with two to play and they're open. Oh, a nice spare. Look at the grin on him. Wow, what a shot that was. Come back for a spare there. That could seal the deal for New England flooring. It's going to be a 6 nothing victory unless we see four strikes in a row. And even there, I think. Tom Pelkey with the uh, 121. I think Wayne can still stop him. 11th rack. Steve Green, a 130 and a ball. On the head pin, punches up against six. 136. He's our top bowler today. 
And that puts the lead way up there. The 29 pins now, right in the lead screen? 565. 536. 36. So 29, they won by one, 29 in the first. You're up 29 in the second. Two points for each string. Two points for the total. There are 58 in the match. Wayne Springfield on the left on 35 for New England flooring with a nine drop. Scott Royce, any chance they have, he's got to convert here. Nope, that should do it. And it's fair. Wayne Springfield. Congratulations to New England flooring. The, uh, Last chance Kevin, auto battle. Kevin, Kevin Davis, Eddie Woodside, Dan Leggy, Steve Reno. We had Dave Hodge, Mallory in earlier, and Ty. Dennis Rizzo. They'll be at the top of the standings for the moment. We have their one game in, in a six, up a six, nothing. Scott's up 100 after nine. 89 in the ball for Wayne Springfield. Eight drop on the spare for Wayne Springfield for New England flooring. 97 after nine. Didn't need the anchor ball this string, Bob. He had a 136 from Steven Reno, fourth bowler. And New England flooring will take six points, all six points available for this match over last chance auto. There you see the the shaking hands now. Good sportsmanship. The way it should be. Eight box for Scott Stroyd. Nine for Wayne Springfield. 106 for Wayne Springfield. Scott Stroyd, the 108. And the final score of the string was 592 to 554. 38 pin lead, a win for the string. That's 67 total for the match for New England Flooring. So congratulations to New England Flooring right, for taking all six points. And we'll continue on just a moment from Lita Lanes here in Nashua. Bob's typing the information on the computer right now. Thank you, and we'll uh, We're gonna pause. be back for, for match two in just a few minutes. See you soon.